choice. That's oh. why we're here. We weren't allowed another choice. The what? world was introduced to us in the wrong foot. What happens when a restaurant is so controversial that it becomes a viral sensation for all the wrong reasons? In today's episode, we're slicing into the story that had everyone talking. The one where the food wasn't the only thing getting roasted. All right, let's dive into the story of Amy's Baking Company, a spot that once shimmered with potential. Amy and Sammy poured their hearts, souls, and a hefty chunk of change, over a million dollars to be exact, into this venture. They envisioned a haven for food lovers, with Amy at the helm in the kitchen, her passion for baking taking center stage. Customers trickled in, their expectations high, only to be met with experiences that left their taste buds less than thrilled. The online realm became a battleground, with reviews that were far from sugar-coated. And how did the couple react to these early warning shots? With a mix of disbelief and defiance. Instead of tasting the truth in the feedback, they saw enemies in their critics. Gordon Ramsay is known as the man who can turn any kitchen around. But when he stepped into Amy's baking company, he encountered a recipe for disaster he hadn't tasted before. In a turn of events that shocked viewers, Ramsay did something no one had seen him do. He walked away. The episode aired and the response was explosive. People tuned in by the millions, drawn to the spectacle of a culinary titan meeting his match. Amy and Sammy stood by their methods, blind to the crumbling foundation of their business under the weight of their own illusions. Following the chaotic episode, Amy's baking company found itself at the center of a cultural maelstrom. The internet exploded with a flurry of memes and sharp commentary as viewers flocked to their devices to share their shock and laughter the couple's reaction, they struck back with the same intensity that had sparked the original uproar. Resolute posts and public declarations were their weapons of choice to combat the surge of negative feedback. This was no fleeting moment of internet fame. The owner's efforts to reshape the narrative were greeted with doubt and often frank disbelief. The chasm between Amy and Sammy's self-image and how the public viewed them grew with each attempt to assert their side of the story. Their persistence in promoting their perspective only added fuel to the flames of public discourse, transforming Amy's baking company into a textbook example of the perils of unmanageable reality TV notoriety. Gordon Ramsay's entry into Amy's baking company was like a gust of fresh air in a stifling room, but the relief was short-lived. He approached the task with his usual blend of expertise and expectation for change. However, the resistance he met from Amy and Sammy was unlike anything he'd encountered before. Their reluctance to accept feedback was a wall he couldn't break down, a barrier to the improvements he's known for implementing. Ramsay's patience was tested as every suggestion he made was met with excuses or outright denial. The couple's inability to acknowledge the flaws that Ramsay pointed out only added layers to the challenge. It was a battle of wills where compromise seemed like a language neither Amy nor Sammy were willing to speak. The climax of Ramsay's efforts was a moment that stunned both the staff and viewers alike. After a series of confrontations and an unyielding stance from the owners, Ramsay reached a tipping point. In a decision that marked a first for kitchen nightmares, he realized the situation was beyond repair and made the difficult choice to walk away. This unprecedented move underscored the gravity of the situation and left a lasting impression on the series' legacy. Amy's baking company's end came quietly, a contrast to the noise it made on national TV. The restaurant, once filled with dreams of culinary success, closed down. The reasons were clear. Bad reviews kept coming, the staff felt mistreated, and the owners wouldn't listen to anyone's advice, not even a famous chef's. Amy and Sammy didn't go down without a fight, though. They stood their ground, never really saying they might have made mistakes. But behind the scenes, trouble was brewing. Money problems and legal issues started to pop up, showing that the restaurant's troubles weren't just about the food or service. That's the scoop on Amy's Baking Company. If you get a kick out of this wild ride, smash that like button, hit subscribe for more crazy stories, and ring that bell so you won't miss out on our next video. Got something to say? Drop it in the comments. Catch you in the next one.